Today, we're looking at only the trending hot products over the last seven days for print on demand products. And we're going to recreate those designs using Ideogram AI in a few simple steps. So I hope you'll join me, follow along with the Google Doc that has all of the prompts and everything else that you need in order to create these designs as well. But let's look at the last seven days and some movers and shakers. We definitely have Mardi Gras coming up. I'm noticing several Mardi Gras based designs. But I like this one up here, the bracelet. It was 665,000 BSR 30 days ago, and it is now at 50,000 BSR. So let's go ahead and see if we can use this as a first design that we can recreate using Ideogram AI. So what I will do is actually hover over this button, go find this on Amazon, and then I'm gonna take a screenshot of this design. And now I can simply upload this image to Ideogram and click Remix. And it's going to not only describe the image, but give me the option to create one very similar to what I have uploaded. So the image weight is what determines how similar it actually is. So all the way up to 100 would be very, very similar. And we're actually gonna lower it down to something like 20 because we want it to be similar, but different enough that it's our own unique design. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower that image weight, make sure everything here in the prompt makes sense and looks good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit remix and we can do one of these with magic prompt off and one of them with magic prompt on. It basically just enhances your prompt if it's on. So it's just gonna add more details to your prompts. I like to try both versions to see which one I prefer. So I'm gonna do one with it off. I'm gonna do one with it on. And then let's see what our first design actually looks like. Again, the prompts for all of these designs are gonna be in the video description inside of a Google Doc so that you can get all of those prompts and everything that you need for these designs. All right, so you guys can see here that most of these turned out correct. They're not exactly like the design that we chose, but some of these definitely turned out good though. Happy Mardi Gras, this one's correct. And uh, while it doesn't necessarily look like bracelets or beads stacked on each other, it definitely still has the feeling of beads and bracelets. Look at this one down here. This one's looking pretty good as well. So we created this design in a few short minutes. It did not take us long to actually create this design. And I'll show you here in a minute how to actually use the canvas to change any sort of words, any sort of text, or any sort of elements. So let's go ahead and do some more product research over here at Merch Dominator, find another style of design that we want to create. So Gulf of America and Gulf of Mexico, both of these designs are doing really well right now. And so if we look at the BSR, 30 days ago it was at 76,000 and now it's at 6,000. So it's definitely, definitely selling. Uh, same thing with Gulf of Mexico. It, it was at 176,000, now it's at 6,000. So this could have been a design that someone posted a long time ago and they're just now starting to see sales on it. But this is definitely a trend right now that I would encourage everyone to try out. So what we can do is once again, we could go over to Amazon, get a screenshot of this and then put it into Ideogram. And I'm on my MacBook, so all I do is hit Command Space and then type in screenshot and then this screenshot tool pops up for me. Uh, for other, you know, if you're on Windows or on another device, you might need to find a program or something that allows you to snip or take a screenshot. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into Ideogram. And we're gonna need to remove out the past design, take that out. And what we can do is, if we want an even you know different design from this one, we can just do a describe. So if we hit describe, it's gonna go ahead and do its best to describe this design. We're gonna go ahead and do our two generations, one with magic prompt on, one with magic prompt off and let's see how these come back. Now, it doesn't take long to actually generate these. It will not take too long to get your images. And don't be afraid to run multiple prompts at once. If you wanna do you know, several designs at the same time, you can go ahead and hit generate and then start working on the next design. All right, so these all look pretty good. I think this one is my favorite out of all of them, but there are several good contenders in here. So let's say you wanted to change something about this design. You could open in Canvas and click on magic fill. And then let's say we wanted to change this to Gulf of Mexico instead of Gulf of America. 
we could highlight over the text make sure all of it's highlighted and then we could click next and we're going to take out the previous prompt and we're just going to say the text so all we're going to say is the text and then in quotes we're going to put the text that we want so in this case we're going to say mexico hit magic fill and then it's going to actually change this design okay so you can see it changed the text it also added in some sort of element here but honestly it looks pretty good so you can change any sort of text you can also add text that didn't exist before you can also highlight over something in the design itself and let's say maybe we want to have uh, two people on the beach right here so we can hit next after we've highlighted it and say silhouette of two people holding hands and then we can do magic fill and then it's going to add in that design element for us through the magic fill so while we're waiting on that to finish generating let's jump back over to our research you guys are going to want to take some screenshots and take some notes on what is actually working right now i'm even seeing some combinations of mardi gras and saint patrick's day here this one says let the shenanigans begin but then it's also got the Florida de lis and, and the Mardi Gras related elements as well. I see a simple text-based design right here that says, so is your mom. You really wouldn't even need AI to recreate this. You could just make your own version. Check out the St. Patrick's Day trending items right now. Wound Care Crew, and it's got shamrocks. Here's some AI artwork, uh, basically aquarium cat looking at fishes. There's a lot of potential for creating designs with AI that are just artistic in nature and whether you sell them as digital files to download or you actually sell them on a t-shirt, uh, this can definitely work too. So aquarium cat looking at fishes and this concept could be recreated multiple times over and over again inside of Ideogram AI. Okay, so our generation has finished. We have two people holding hands it did kind of mess up the sunset here there were there's a blob of ink that kind of it kind of looks like a white drop of ink uh on the background but other than that it was able to fix everything for us if we wanted to spend more time on this we could probably go in and magic fill in this white spot and probably you know put in an element that could cover that up but i'm gonna go ahead and move on from this design the next design that caught my attention was this Bigfoot Samurai Japanese UFO style design. It was at BSR 513,030 days ago, and now it's at 93,000. Now, you guys already know, watching my channel, I create several designs featuring sci-fi, paranormal, uh, different concepts like that, because it technically is not owned by anyone. Because you can put Bigfoot or Sasquatch or the Loch Ness Monster in many different scenarios like and you can use ai to actually create these designs and believe it or not people do buy them so i'm gonna take a screenshot of this one and let's go ahead and start working with this we're gonna remix set the image weight down to 20 and you can see here this this prompt is what it described the image as so we don't even have to type in the prompt if we don't want to of course if there was something that we wanted to be different about this design we could change it up here in the prompt itself so if we didn't want the overall ambience to be a blend of traditional japanese and science fiction we could change that to something else if we didn't want there to be a misty mountainscape and we wanted there to be a waterfall then we could add in with waterfall, trees, and sun rising or setting in the sky. I'm gonna hit remix, generate two different versions, one with magic prompt on, one with magic prompt off, and then let's see how these creations turn out. Now there is a free version of Ideogram. There is a link for it in the video description and you can use that free version multiple times a day to create designs for yourself. However, the pro version is where you can actually upload designs. Uh, so this one didn't turn out exactly as like I was hoping it would. Um, definitely more of a cartoon style compared to we were wanting something a little bit more realistic. I think what actually messed this up was the blend of art. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that it's not a blend and that it's just traditional Japanese. Let's go ahead and hit remix. 
and see if we can get back some better generations this time around. All right, this is looking a lot better. This is what we were looking for. So you may have to generate a few different versions. Pay attention to the prompt and you know go in and edit th some things with the prompt if you need to, and you'll get the look that you're look that you're going for. You can also control the output down here by doing general, realistic, design, 3D, or anime. I leave it on auto for most of the time. All right, let's go ahead and go through some more designs here. Uh, we got I'm fine, it's fine, everything's fine. This was a trending design in like 2020, and it's actually coming back around. Uh, BSR was 495,000, now BSR is at 92,000. So these style of designs where it's kind of almost like everything's on fire, but you're pretending like everything's fine, that style of design is doing well. So I'm gonna go through, I'm just gonna scroll down and let you get an idea of some of the trending designs right now. I'm not going to stop on any particular one, but you can get a good general idea just by scrolling and soaking up kind of similar concepts you see over and over again. This is gonna give you an idea of what's trending right now. So go ahead and take a look at some of these. This one's interesting, tattoos are trashy and the BSR is down to 254,000 from 1.1 million. So tattoo related designs and Easter is even sneaking up on us here. Easter with my Nomi's was at 2.1 million. Now it's at 366,000 and we'll probably continue to do better as we get closer to Easter. Now let's say you find a design and you just want to type out the prompt. Maybe you just have the free version of Ideogram. We could type out this prompt. So we would say something like a raccoon pouring wine and staring into the camera. The text feeling feral design is black and white except for the wine in the bottle and the glass. Okay, so I just typed this out as my quick 30 second prompt after looking at this design twice. So we also noticed that the raccoon is wearing sunglasses. So we're gonna go back and write that in. And let's hit generate for magic prompt off and generate with magic prompt on. And while these are generating, let's say you wanted to make money from your designs. Let's say you actually wanted to not just create designs, but you actually wanted to earn commissions from them. Wow, these turned back better than I thought they would actually. These look really good. Well, what I prefer doing is print on demand. Whether you want to make magnets, stickers, hats, sweatpants, shirts, canteens, whatever it is, dresses, shower curtains, puzzles, napkins, a variety of different things, but you can put your design directly on these products. You can also just simply sell the art and sell the rights to the art to where someone could maybe print it out and do uh, like their own printed products with your art. I recommend though for any beginners is to sign up with a print partner that's free to sign up with and the one that I'm recommending is Printify. There's a link in the video description to join Printify 100% for free. You can put any AI designs on these products and then sell them on Etsy, Shopify, Amazon, eBay, wherever you're selling your print on demand products. And basically guys, once you get a sale, you will have to pay the amount, let's say you sold a coaster, you will have to pay the $6.94 plus shipping, but then you get to keep whatever's left over. So if you're selling these for $19.95 or $14.95, then you get to keep the profit that's left over and you never have to ship out the products or buy them in bulk, you know, have like a thousand of these coasters that you don't know whether or not they're gonna sell. No, it's just one unit at a time. So there's no minimum. You can print one unit at a time. They ship it directly to your customers. So they're essentially drop shipping on behalf of your brand, on, on behalf of you. And they have so many different types of products that you can print on and it's 100% free to join. So go ahead and join with Printify below. They have personalization, they have AI tools to help you get everything listed. And it's never been easier to start selling your AI designs on products so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here hope you guys got some valuable product insights some good ideas
to actually start creating designs and get them out into the world. We will be back with more trending products, more tutorials on how to use AI to create these products. Let me know in the comments specifically what you wanna know, what questions you have, what tutorials you wanna see. And if you wanna join the free Facebook group, I have a free Facebook group where you can ask questions, you can see what other print-on-demand sellers are up to, all of the links are in the video description below, including if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, we can jump on Zoom. I can take a look at your designs, take a look at your store, and offer any advice and any insights to help you push forward. So all of those links are below. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I hope you create something awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.